What would you say your father's legacy will be? I think he's the Mozart of our generation. Mm. I think the way we look back at people like, like Mozart and, and, and Beethoven, uh, from how far we, we are removed from them, you, you put that amount of time ahead of us, and I think people will still be looking back at, back at him. Your dad meant so much to so many people, and you saw the outpouring of love, like people really felt his passing. Um, what did that mean to you? Oh, it's incredible. Uh, everyone has been, it's been such a monumental amount of positivity uh, that I <laughs> haven't really seen uh, on the internet before. Can we talk about the video? You found a place that's better for you than this rock we're living on. It's unbelievable the moments, and you see the love from your father, how much he loved you. What did that mean to you? to see how much he loved, like the love he just poured over you. He was the most loving and uh, positive father. Uh, and I, I, I really wanted to show that in the video. Mm -hmm. and I, my, my editor Chuck did a wonderful job uh, putting all the clips together in such a great way. The song, the video ends with that message from your dad. I'm just so happy to have you as my son, man. So proud of you. I love you so much. So when's that from? And tell us the story around that message. Oh gosh, he, he used to leave me messages like that all the time. Uh, that that wasn't really a specific. Um, there wasn't a specific occasion that that warranted that voicemail. That's just uh, uh, how loving and, and amazing he was. That he, he he said stuff like that all the time. And luckily, going through my phone enough, I found a couple of voicemails voicemails that were wonderful. And I thought that one was a, a really great way to cap the video off, to really show people how, how loving of a father he was. Did your dad ever hear the song? Yes, he did. What did he think? Oh, he loved it. He was, he was very proud. He, he, he got to hear all of my music uh, before he passed. And uh, he would constantly say, like, best album of all time. <laughs> he, was, mm. he, was, he was really, really proud. And what does that mean to you that he got to hear it? Oh, it means the world. Uh, I don't know what I would do if I if I, I was never able to hear him uh, react to my music, and I'm really blessed that I was able to, to experience that. And by the way, proceeds from the song are going to his favorite charity, correct? Yeah, this is, it's going, all, all the proceeds, I'm making sure that the, the wonderful teams of people who helped me put this out uh, get paid, but all the proceeds that I would have made are going to his favorite charity, Mr. Holland's Opus, which is a wonderful yeah. charity. Helps, yeah. helps underprivileged students. Uh, get uh, musical instruments and stuff. It's it's a really great organization, and I'd like to continue that relationship since my father was very close with them. Hey, what did your um, what did your mom think of the video, and how was it for her? I know did she lived those. She's the only other person who lived those moments. All I had to do was walk into her house and say, "Hey, I have the video," and she started crying before she even watched it. Wow, <laughs> she loves it so much. She's she's watched it countless times. She's actually probably downstairs on the couch right now watching it. How hard was it in the end for your father just to, you know, he was a really upbeat guy. So what was it like those last few months and then those last few days? It was, it was really rough. Uh, it just, he was dealing with so much and it just, it just seems like he never got a break. Things just kept piling on and piling on. The second we would get a win, you know, it was, you know, one step forward, two steps back. Uh, but uh, for such a, for the worst situation and experience in my life, um, uh, it couldn't have gone smoother. I was, I was very happy. I was able to spend every second with him that I could. What is the advice or the best advice your father gave you that you keep with you each and every day? One of my favorite things he ever told me that his father told him mm. was uh, when you're playing music, if you ever make a mistake, do it twice so that way people think you did it on purpose. <laughs> I guess it's actually a perfect way to live life. If you ever make a mistake, <laughs> make it again so people think you're doing it on purpose. All right, gotta ask you, um, will there be a tour in the future and there have been rumors that you may go out and you may replace your dad in the band? Oh yeah, no no way, that, that'll never happen. Uh, no. that's, you, you can't have Van Halen without Eddie Van Halen. It, it's, it's, it just, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I, I, I think, you know, a message to 
to the Van Halen fans. Like it, it, some things just really suck. Uh, you know, I don't have a dad anymore and I have to figure out how to process that and deal with it. And I think that's the process that Van Halen fans need to go through and realize that you can't have the band anymore without Eddie Van Halen. You know, the, the music will live on forever. And outside of, you know, maybe archival releases down the line, that'll take a lot of work. But uh, outside of that, the band, you can't have it without him. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What would you say your father's legacy will be? I think he's the Mozart of our generation. Mm. I think the way we look back at people like like Mozart and and, and Beethoven, uh, from how far we, we are removed from them, you, you, you put that amount of time ahead of us, and I think people will still be looking back at, back at him. The way he not only put the music together, but the way he could play guitar, piano, these other instruments, it was like a magic flowed out of him. What was it like to sit up close personal with that magic? No, it was amazing. Uh, it just it rubbed off on me because that's all I wanted to do. And that's all I'm gonna play music. <laughs>